themselves in the top six of the Hero Y League table come the end of this month. So Deva Delhi versus Neroka. Live for Delhi, missed out in the last one. Surely will be a foul on Ajay Singh. Lali and Sangha, the man penalized. to Nathaniel Garcia. Judah again. Tong Domba is muscled off it by Judah. And his first effort of the game, not troubling the goalkeeper, but it seems to have troubled him. And that challenge from Tong Domba. Mahesh in some space. He had Keen Lewis on his right, but he's gone the other way here. Bishochit had to come out nice and early, which he did. It was a good idea from Anaure Mahesh. This is his first real challenge with the senior team. And in the I League at that. Now Mahesh, surely a penalty. Uh, referee didn't take any time whatsoever to point to the spot. It was a blatant terror from the defender. Now Mahesh was away. Another step and he was ready to pull the trigger. Absolutely had to bring him down. Look at that. Yes. No. Lewis against Bishorjit. Lewis saved. Wow. Bishorjit keeps his team in the game and keeps the scoreline at 1 0. On the edge of the D, there's the save occasion. And now here come Neroka. In comes the ball, chance at the other end. Now Judah Garcia has taken it down brilliantly. It fell for Subhash Singham. Mm. Lashes it into the advertisement boards, but this is Jiteshwar, a man who gave the penalty away. In comes the strike from Nathaniel Garcia. High and wide. Now, Judah Garcia bursting into the box. Lack support though. Ajay Singh was arriving in the center. It was a terrific dash from the number. Back with Ajay. Ajay getting into the box. He appeals for a penalty this time for Neroka. Nothing doing, says the referee. And a few shouts from the bench as well. Chiteshwar skips past one. And look at the space here for Ajay to have a crack from the edge of the D. It's a good chance for Neroka. I just mentioned how they haven't really tested Rakshit Duggars. Now Remahesh uh, drops to Bish. Almost sent it into the path of an incoming Serwat Kima. Looking to fend off the challenge of Deepak. Does so. Feeds now Remahesh Keen. Still going Keen. Still with Keen Lewis. Corner for Sudeva. It's very good combination play between Keen and Naore Mahesh. Not much for Neroka. Now Sudeva Delhi might arrive with a chance here again for Naore Mahesh this time. Who's complaining? 
How about a handball? Dropped very kindly for him. But can Neroka steal the lead here? At the end of it, and they might just do so here, and they have done. Judah Garcia on target, 1-0 Neroka. Very much against the run of play. Chance after chance falling to Sudeva Delhi at the other end. Finally, one comes up for Neroka and, well, it's been that kind of a game for Judah Garcia. You always, always knew where the ball was going to end up once the ball was floated in from the right towards the incoming number nine for Neroka. Lovely ball in. It's a good run as well. Got ahead of his defender. There was nothing that Rakshit Tagar could do about it. It wasn't really the Kishore Bharati Krirangan. And Sudeva Delhi certainly have had more possession, more of. And here are your first half statistics. Look at the possession for Sudeva. Equal number of shots, but Nathaniel Garcia fancies a chance. Well, high and wide in the end. There's the strike. Never going to trouble. And as well, Akash Deep still being harassed by Judah Garcia, who's won it ahead of him here. Still Judah Garcia for his second. Comes out to Lungdim. Lovely save from Rakshit Dagar. In comes the ball. Could be a chance. Cleared off the line. In comes the header again. Uh, this time it was. There's the chance. It was hit into the earth by Nathaniel Garcia. Crashes into Karpan. Ball forward this time. Now a chance for Lali and Sangha to strike from distance. Poor. And now, now R. M. Mahesh looking for the through ball towards Manveer. Deepak got back in time. Will be a corner nonetheless for Sudeva Delhi, but it will have to wait because Ajay Singh has a problem. Harpan and Shubho Paul are in the center. Lalian Sangha with the strike right into the basket of Bishurjit. They just keep nibbling at the goal, Sudeva Delhi. Got Ansh Gupta for company, leaves him for dead. Still Judah Garcia, twisting and turning, still with him. And now Prakash hits the crossbar. The flag was up later, but look at that from Judah Garcia. Just brushed off the challenge of Ansh Gupta. On towards Singsit. Back to Prakash, who has kept himself onside. In comes the ball towards Garcia. Goal kick again. He's got his hands on his head. Could have so easily had a hat-trick by now in this game. And he has played well, hasn't he? Subhash Singh looking to create some room. Still Subhash wriggling his way through the centre of the defence. Got a pass back from because they are trailing this game. And look at the space now for Singsit. He's one on one with his man. Oh, what a hit that is! Stunning strike. Two in two for Singsit. Curls it into the far corner. Nothing Rakshit Dagar could do about that. And Neroka are two to the good here on their way. Going level on points with Sudeva Delhi. What a strike though from Singsit. Two really high quality goals for Neroka Football Club today. One was a team move finished off by Judah Garcia in the first half. But how about that for individual brilliance. Wow, opened his body up. Pro could probably criticise uh, Melvin Fernandez for giving him that much space. 
once he had gotten into the box, but when he did, he towards William. He is into the box and now pulls it back. What an opportunity for Lalian Sangha. He caught it sweetly enough. Just couldn't keep it on target. Fantastic find by William. Side footed effort. Mullis towards the end of the 90 here. There it is. Oh, no harm intended, of course, by Clevel on points with their opponents today. Well, Sadeh Vardel, he's starting the game. As you can see, Sadeh Vardel with more possession, but equal number.